Oh yeah, Link, give us that stretch, man. Stretch that back. This has been my life for the past day now. I have spent every single moment of time that I've had free playing this game and I am nowhere near close to even remotely scratching like 2% of being done with this game and I have already put at least at least 12 hours of gameplay into this and I have to say man I am absolutely blown away by how awesome this game is it is genuinely one of the best games I've ever played in my life and I'm not saying that to oversell it or hype it up It's seriously one of the best games I've played in my entire life So I decided that I'm going to make this video just to share to you guys with my experience of this game and uh, you know just to show off a little bit of uh, Of this game because of how awesome it is and uh, that way if you guys want a let's play or want to see more videos on breath of the wild You can let me know if that's the case just drop a like on this video and if this video can exceed over 2,000 likes uh, I will just go ahead and start playing this game regularly on the channel We could do either a let's play or we could just do random videos in that kind of format because this game doesn't necessarily Require it to be played in a let's play format because of how open it is and how much things there are to do in this game So let me just quickly run down with you guys everything that I have uh, currently done I'm not gonna spoil anything. So don't worry about it I'm, I'm nowhere near anywhere close to being done with this game. Like I said, I probably played like about two or three percent of the story uh, most of the time that I've spent playing this game I was just you know exploring how big this map is like take a look at this this is all the area that I've explored and then if you uh if you keep going I guess that's as far as we can go back if you keep going uh, all the way around you'll see that the map continues to extend it's genuinely one of the biggest open world maps I've ever played in uh, and then obviously you keep zooming in very very close and that's where I'm at right there just in this little village I just managed to make my way here um, So you have like these towers uh, I guess let me just show them off real quickly there are towers I think this might be one of the towers you you, you get on the tower and essentially what it does it activates That area of the map for you So that's what I've been pretty much trying to do just because I'm trying to fill in the map as much as I can That way it makes it a lot easier when I go exploring like all these places that have titles and names on them uh, I've actually been to I believe or maybe not. I'm not sure how it works. I think, no, there's no way because there's no way I even visited this part. That's how big this map is, man. I haven't even visited any of this stuff yet. But let me just, you know, show, uh, who is this guy? Hold on. He was actually trying to fight me a little earlier with his pitchfork. Do you want to fight still? Oh, yeah, I want to fight. Ooh, 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 ooh. And apparently that doesn't really do much. I mean, um, I guess I'm not going to fight. I'll leave him alone. So, I gotta say, the one thing that I'm really, really in love with about this game, uh, which I'm sure not many people would be a fan of, I guess, I mean, it really depends. I mean, for me, I've played Dark Souls, so I'm very used to it. Uh, but, like, you die very, very quickly. A lot of the enemies in this game can kill you pretty much within one hit. And I think the reason they did that is because they wanted this game to feel more realistic. So, if you get, like, sw if you get like hit in the face with, like, an axe with spikes on it, that's pretty much an instant death. There's no coming back from it. You lose all your hearts. And uh, I love that. I love how it's actually like that. The beauty about this game, too, is it auto-saves pretty much everywhere you go, almost all the time. So, you don't lose any progress, pretty Pretty much when you die like it only really bothers you if you're fighting a boss or something and you're close to killing the boss and it's a big boss battle so I mean you're gonna have to redo it from scratch but um, other than that you know it's 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 very nice look at this view like seriously breath of the wild is 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 true to its name all of these views are are seriously breathtaking Wow uh, and if you want to have a little bit of fun, you know, you could always just go gliding and then Whoa, I almost died there had I not pulled it out at the last second I probably would have died, but I actually just came all the way from this mountain all the way up there See that tower. I literally flew from the tower and then I landed over here and uh, I had a horse Unfortunately, I ditched her back there or ditched him 
Um, I had a couple horses. You can find them in the wild pretty much everywhere you go, and you just gotta tame them. And then you can register the horse, so then you can make it your official horse, but I haven't done that yet. I just like letting them go. I'm not about to, you know, catch a horse and stay committed to taming and feeding a beast and taking care of something. But what is this village? I do not know. I just made my way here. Look at all these little kids running around. It reminds me a lot of Fable 2. Back when I was younger, I used to play Fable The Lost Chapters um, on my Xbox 360, and it was actually one of my favorite games growing up. Like, I always played that game. I'd beat the game, play it again, beat the game, play it again. It wasn't nearly as open world as this, and, um, you know, there wasn't as many, like, NPCs and whatnot running around. Like, everything you see here pretty much has a purpose. Like, I could talk to this person, right? They'll give me a lot of dialogue, and they'll ask me things, and I could pick or choose what I want to respond with. It's pretty awesome. Like, you could tell Nintendo put- look at that! Nintendo put a lot of time and work into this game, and I'm, like, honestly baffled at how awesome this game is. Just knowing that it's a Zelda game, too, it makes me, like, hope that all Zelda games in the future will be in this same format, because this is seriously growing to become one of my favorite games of all time. Like, I could just sit there playing this game for hours, and it's sad because I don't have the time to do that. Yesterday, I was really busy, and I couldn't play this game as much as I would have wanted to, and it made me sad because it's like I could just be playing this game all day and night if I could, but it's unfortunate. Somebody's tree here. I guess you can't- you can, you can hit it with your spear, I guess, and knock down the apples. That's kind of theft. Oh, let me actually show you guys also what I have. So, um, you have your inventory right here. Uh, these are my weapons. Uh, you don't actually have one solid weapon that you keep with you throughout the whole game. Everything that you see here breaks eventually after usage, and you have to pick up new weapons as you go along. So these are, they're, they're pretty much, you recycle through items, or I guess not really recycle, you just lose items and get more. Here are my bows. Uh, I have the Traveler Bow, the Boku Bow. This is what I'm currently using. It's probably going to break soon. It's actually very, very damaged. So I'm going to use the Soldier Bow next because it actually does a lot of damage. And then I have the Bomb Arrows, Fire Arrows, and Regular Arrows, which is cool how they separate them. So you don't have... Uh, specific you don't share your arrows with all of the different kinds of arrows that you could use in the game And then here are the shields that I got uh, I had this one uh, that I was using for the longest time, and then I just found this uh, I, I infiltrated some uh, Some enemies and stole that from them, and then I just bought this gear the Hylian tunic the Hylian hood and then the Hylian trousers it wasn't cheap, but the cool thing is, the more enemies you uh, battle, the more things you find, the more things you can sell, and then you actually earn rupees from them, which then you can go about buying different kinds of apparel for you that help you out on your adventure. So, Link looks pretty sick like this. And then I also have all this food right here, which as you can see, is food that I cooked, because like, this is my uh, regular inventory right here. Like, you could cook different things, like mushrooms. I'll try to show that off later on in this video, but you could cook mushrooms, uh, don't cook anything that's not actual food that you would normally eat. Like, I was surprised. Like, octopus, like octorock tentacles. I thought maybe you could eat that because, you know, we as human beings eat octopus. At least some people do, but it's not good. If you make bad food combinations, it'll actually be like this. Uh, so you, you don't really gain much out of it. You gain one heart. But then, like, this is some good food, and it actually has, like, um has like a, an effect too as well so it grants low level cold resistance meaning that when you're in the cold you're not going to be freezing to death and you have resistance to cold for about five minutes it's the same thing when you're in hot uh areas as well which i haven't experienced yet but i, I ran across death mountain which is pretty cool but I, I didn't go there i was like man i don't know where i want to go first uh, i'm not going to do death mountain just yet i want to at least get a couple more heart pieces and in order to get hearts you have to bat or beat shrines i think for Every four shrines you beat, which are like little small miniature dungeons, you get um you can actually get an ability to upgrade your 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 stamina or you can upgrade your heart pieces or your hearts rather. I was told to get the master sword in this game, you need a lot of hearts. So that's what I'm focusing on right now. I'm actually pretty content with how my stamina is. You learn to work with it and you learn to uh to know exactly how much you could do with Link in this game. And I love, I love in this game that there is not a single piece of area that you see that you can't explore. Like if I was really determined, I could climb that mountain, seriously. There is nothing that is off limits in this game. Everything is available for you to do and play in. It is just seriously breathtaking. Like I know I've said that a lot and it probably sounds cheesy, but I mean it when I say it. This game is, 
is really something. And if there's a game you're going to buy for the Switch, definitely buy this one. And I'm kind of glad that Nintendo, when they did release the Switch just yesterday, they didn't come out with many games for it because it gives you a chance to just focus on playing this game alone. And I feel like maybe that's why Nintendo only uh, released this game with the Switch. Like they didn't have like a solid lineup of games when it came to releasing stuff. They only they only gave us a, like this game, and then obviously you know like Bomberman went to Switch. You know those other fun multiplayer games, but this one I feel like they want everyone to focus on playing because it's just that good. Looks like I'm about to get into someone's ranch. Ooh, look at that! They, there's some sheep. Uh, I wonder if I could, you know, uh, not scare them. I, should I kill them? What would happen if I killed them? I wonder what happens if I get close to them. Nothing, I guess. But if I... Oh, nothing happens. Yeah, that, that would be bad if, if I killed them because they're not even mine. Um, ooh, and look at that. You got a cow. One, two, switch is about to take place right here with my boy Link. But you can't really do anything to them. It doesn't affect them. Um, there's, ooh, there's one of these things, like a sill. You know, I've never, I've never seen one. I mean, I've seen them, but I've never actually been on one yet. Let's see. I think if you have, oh man, I think I got rid of it. Dang it, I did. So I had like this, uh, this leaf that you can actually use and it blows people back. And, um, or I guess enemies back. And I guess you need that to sail because without it, you, there's literally no wind currency, so... It's not going to really work out. And I knew for a fact that once I got rid of it, I'd probably find one of these things. And lo and behold, man, I found one. Uh, let me pick up this apple. Get up here, Link. Get, get the... Nope, nope. Get the apple, my dude. Get, get the apple. If he can just... Okay. Well, I guess he doesn't really want to get that. Let me... I could probably do it like this. Well... Oh, I could just take it. Wow, I'm so silly. There we go. Okay, whatever. He doesn't really want to get it. But anyways, let's see what else we could do. I'm going to just fly all the way down here. Like, I, what I would normally do is just talk to all these guys over here. But I don't know, man, if I really want to do that. It's just, it, got, it gets kind of boring talking to these guys because they have so much to say, which is cool and all. Like, if you're really interested in that, then yeah, this is definitely perfect for you. But I just like exploring and finding stuff. Whoa, look at that, man. A new area that I've yet to explore. And all that is ocean over here, I think. Or is that sand? I can't really tell. It sounds like there's something pretty dangerous going on over here. What is what is happening? You can use your Sheikah Slate and you can get like a nice zoom in on things. That's, uh, that's a shrine, obviously. I don't know what that is. Ooh, what the heck? Did I die? No, I didn't. I just initiated a cutscene. Look away, guys, if you don't want to see. Look away! Be on your guard. Ganon's power grows. It rises to its peak under the hour of the blood moon. By its glow, the aimless spirits of monsters slain in the name of the light return to flesh. Link, please be careful. Okay, well, I don't know if that was a part of the story or not. Probably was, considering that you see that little yellow thing over there. That's where I'm supposed to head. But this is definitely not the direction, because if it were, it wouldn't be facing that way. The The little yellow thing would be over there. So let's go ahead there. I'm going to head... Oh, man, look at the moon. I love it, dude. It looks so clean. And also, one of the best things, too, about this game as well is the camera angle. There is not a single thing that you can't do with the camera. You can get every single angle in pretty much any situation, which is amazing. I love getting angles of Link while he's cooking food because he just looks so funny while the food's being cooked. And then you see his reaction if you make, like, a bad combination of foods. He's like, oh, no, I don't like this. And, you know, he makes, like, a, a disgusted face. Like, why would you make that, man? But, uh, it's, it's pretty awesome. I love it. Um, let me see. I'm gonna try to climb that thing. I don't know if I can. Well, probably not. Well, I, I guess I could go all the way down there. And see what's going on over there. But then if I did... Yeah, you know what? Let's do it, man. Why the heck not? Woohoo! And then, obviously, when you're going gliding, you have, like, your stamina. That is, uh, kind of depleting. Okay, I totally missed out. Like, I was supposed to go the other way, so I'm gonna just go over this way. 
I think this is good. There you go. That's perfect. Because I could probably climb back up. You see that yellow dot? That's where I'm supposed to be. I could have just followed the tracks. Wow, I'm so stupid. But it's also very funny too because <clears throat> you don't have to follow everything in the certain way that the game intends you to do it. You could pretty much get to places on your own. Like I was, uh, I was, I was playing this game yesterday and I made it to like uh, Kakariko Village, and I did it the intended way the game wanted you to do it. But then when Rodri was watching me, my friend Purple Rodri, he was like, "Wait, how did you get there?" Is that how you did it? And then I was like, yeah, how did you do it? And then he told me that he took a waterfall that he jumped off of and it led him all the way down to Kakariko Village. And it was funny too because I found that exact waterfall and I was just laughing because it was like, this is completely off track, off course where you're supposed to go. But you found this waterfall and you decided to jump into it and make your way to Kakariko Village. And it was hilarious because... It just really goes to show, like, you could do anything in this game and uh, and get away with it, pretty much. We, we, oh, what are these? I could take these sunset fireflies? I guess, what is the, what does it do? I guess it goes in the dark or something. But I think I made it, guys. It's that house up there. I kind of had a suspicion that's what it was. Uh, and then also, let me show off uh, some of these cool abilities. So we got the remote bomb. This is magnet. This is, I believe it stops time. This, I believe, freezes water. So you can actually do certain things like, um, like, like get to certain areas without necessarily having to swim. And then right here, I could throw this bomb and then detonate it. But that does not work. I guess these rocks aren't breakable. Like, not everything you're going to see in this game is, is going is gonna to be breakable. There's actually also some, like, like uh, I don't even know what it's called. It's like some, they're like black rocks, but you use them to mine, and there's like certain weapons that you need to mine them. Um, and, uh, oh gosh, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, wow, I barely made it. I would have, I would have lost all my stamina and fell back down, but it would have been fine. But anyways, this is it. This is the house that I needed to make my way towards. I don't know if I should go in. Probably, oh, okay, this is, oh, yes, I get it. I remember now, because I was supposed to find the dude to, to do something. But let's get a view of everything up here now, since now we are even higher. Wow, look at that. That's definitely an ocean. Now you can really tell it's an ocean. And look at all that over there. Let me actually take a look at the map. Oh, my goodness. That is all explorable area, too. What the heck? You guys see all the way as far as the eye can see in the horizon, where the sun is, I guess, shining. That's a literally all explorable area. How do you even get there? Oh my goodness, that is amazing. Like, all that. Dude, this game is just beautiful. And then we got Death Mountain. You can see Death Mountain just kind of peeking over there. There's, I think this is like a tele... That is a telescope. But where is it looking towards? It's looking just all the way over there. But yeah, that's the tower that I was telling you guys about. You have to hit the tower to activate everything. And then you see the village that we started out in. You see how far we've climbed? That's the village that we started out in. I think that's a shrine over there. I can't tell. Did I beat that shrine? No, that's not a shrine. I don't know what that is. But the river kind of goes all the way down to the ocean. That's very, very awesome, man. I love it. And then this guy probably has some mushrooms. Yep, going in the back of this house. I'll just go ahead and snatch those. Um, but I'm not going to go ahead and do that part of the story yet. I just want to make sure that you guys want to see a Let's Play of this. Because if that's the case, I really don't mind uh, recording this and playing it for you guys and uploading it to the channel. Because either way, I'm going to be playing this. And I'm going to be doing a live stream as well on my YouTube channel tonight. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. We're just going to pick up and continue the progress from this current file. And if I do choose to do a Let's Play on the game, I will definitely start a brand new file and start from the beginning for you guys so that way you guys could see everything from the get-go or I could just continue from here because like I said I'm not really that far into the game like there are four dungeons in the game and I haven't even done a single one like everything that I'm doing and that I've done is just currently exploring this area and everything and look at my look at my meter of uh, I'm actually getting a lot colder right now Link is starting to freeze up you know because the higher I go the colder it gets I'm gonna just get all the way up to the top. I want to be at the pinnacle of this place. What the heck? Can I even climb this? Link, you can climb this, right? Oh yeah, for sure, dude. There isn't anything Link can't do. Oh God, Link! Wow! I'm surprised you survived that. 
Dude, normally he would die from things like that, but I guess he's a little bit stronger than your average human, so there are some things that he could survive. But let's go ahead and do one last thing, I guess, before we end off this video. Maybe just glide all the way down. Um, and then I'll just do... Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this now, but I'm going to cut it out so you guys don't have to see it. And that way, I could just jump off this place not having to worry about coming back in. So, I will see you guys once I'm done taking care of business. Alright, she gave me my next objective. So, I am free to go. And here we go! All the way back down to Hento Village. Which really isn't that exciting. But you know what? We're just going to keep gliding all the way down here. See how far we get. Literally, you can change the angle however you want. Let's get a good look at Link. Ooh, well, I guess that's a little too close, you know, for comfort. Link Link don't like that. Let me just go over this way. Literally, he's Avatar Aang, man. He's been asleep for 100 years. He woke up. His world's changed. And now he has to save it. And, uh, and, and he has a, a glider. He's literally an airbender, man. It's pretty awesome. Oh, man, that's probably not what I want to do. Do not swim against currents. Ooh. Look at that, a sword, the rusty broadsword, and I can't carry any more weapons. It's rusty anyway, so I don't want that piece of junk. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. What's up, dog? You just chilling, farming? Look at this guy. Look at this guy, man. That's all he does. That's, that's a good life to him. So, anyways, guys, we are back here. Actually, my objective takes place in this area. So, I'm just going to end off the episode now and then just... Continue enjoying this game and getting as far as I can in it. Just doing side quests and, and having a grand old time. Let me know down in the comment section below if you would like to see a full Let's Play on this game. Like I said, I truly do not mind playing this game for you guys on the channel. It's something that I would commit to and I would do every single day because of just the nature of this game and how awesome it is. So that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.